Everyone knows there have to be rules. There have to be laws which dictate the standards of behavior we all live by so we can get along and have a peaceful society. That's why civilization requires government. We need a centralized authority that makes and enforces a uniform set of rules that everyone must follow. If every person just did whatever he wanted, there would be anarchy, chaos, mayhem, death, and destruction. If we want civilized society, there have to be rules. And here they are. Rule number one, no one may wear a giant purple top hat. They're silly, they're distracting, and they're totally unnecessary. Rule number two, everyone must learn to play the accordion because you never know when such a talent might come in handy. And rule number three, no one can have more than one platypus. Why would you need more than one? And without this rule, the world might soon be overrun with platypi. Oh, and rule number four, you have to give me $200 every week. So those are the rules, and if you will just abide by those rules, I'm sure we can have a happy, peaceful, and prosperous society. Thank you for your time. Now, there may be some malcontent scofflaw troublemakers out there who, who don't like these rules, who, who think they know better what the rules should be. But the reason we need a government and rule makers is because the rabble, including you, can't be trusted to make their own decisions, can't be allowed to decide right and wrong for themselves. We need a rulemaking authority precisely because your moral code and your judgment aren't good enough. And since you can't be trusted to run your own life, obviously you don't get to decide what the rules will be for everyone else. And don't think it's your place to pick and choose which rules you like. Maybe you don't mind giving up your purple top hat, but you don't want to learn to play the accordion. But what's the point of having rules if we allow every individual to decide for himself which laws he will obey and which he will violate? Obviously, the reason there has to be a centralized authority laying down the law for everyone else is that if you just followed your own consciences, or rely on your own judgments and moral codes, there would be perpetual death and mayhem. That's why there needs to be one set of rules that applies to everyone, and I just gave you the rules. If you don't like it, you're free to leave the planet, but if you want to live here, you must obey the rules like everybody else. Now, maybe you think that the rules should be something like don't murder, don't steal, don't assault, don't commit fraud, that sort of thing. Well, it's fine for you to think that, but you're not the rule maker now, are you? The whole point of a rule maker is that each individual must subjugate his own moral code and judgment to that of an authority outside of himself. I mean, how hypocritical would it be of you to say that there have to be rules only to then turn around and claim that you get to decide what the rules should be. Who died and made you emperor? Obviously, everybody can't be in charge. If we are to have the rule of law, people like you need to just do as they're told. Your place is to blindly obey the proper authorities. What good are rules if obedience is optional? But I'm sure that you, as a fine, upstanding, law-abiding citizen, will gladly set aside your own beliefs and values, abide by these new rules, encourage others to do likewise, and snitch on anyone who doesn't. Now, the rule makers might change the rules now and then. The rules might be different at different times or in different places. The one constant is that you must never use your own judgment. Whoever the rule makers are and whatever their rules are, you need to bow to them and obey. Defer to their judgment without hesitation and without question. Otherwise, what good is it to have rules? If people are allowed to just ignore the rules whenever they think they should, that's the same as having no rules at all. That would be anarchy. See this? There are the rule makers. There is everyone else. And there is you. These are the people who need to be ruled and these are the people who will rule them. Memorize this chart and remember your place. Society needs a governing authority and you're not it. You're one of the subjects. They command, you obey. Got it? 
what you think the rules ought to be doesn't matter in the slightest. Or do you think you're above the law? Maybe you think the rules don't apply to you. It's not your job to decide what choices and behaviors are acceptable. It's not your place to decide how to be a good person. The rule makers will make those judgments for you. Your conscience and your free will, and the free will of every other person, should be set aside in favor of the one uniform set of rules imposed upon you by an external governmental authority. That is what the rule of law is all about, and the future of humanity depends upon it. And it should be easy for you. You won't need a brain or a conscience anymore. You don't have to worry yourself about what the rules ought to be or what you wish the rules said. That's not your job. Your job is to obey the rules, no matter how silly, counterproductive, or even destructive or immoral they might seem to you. The law is the law. Do as you're told and everything will be fine. There is one other thing I hesitate to even bring it up, but there are some crazies out there, voluntarists and anarchists, saying some very dangerous, absurd things that I should probably warn you about. Those extremists actually claim that, as a sentient individual, you should decide for yourself what is right and wrong, that you are personally responsible for making moral judgments and acting on them. Those kooks claim that you should use your own moral code to decide what you should do, even if it disagrees with what your masters tell you to do. Completely ridiculous stuff. I mean, who are you to decide what's right and wrong anyway? If everyone did that, there would be anarchy. If you made your own choices and ran your own life, who knows what chaos and mayhem you would inflict upon mankind. You are the reason there have to be rules. Because without the loving but firm guidance of your betters, the rule makers, you'd be no better than a stupid, dangerous thug. That's why government is so necessary. Because people like you would behave like vicious animals if your masters weren't telling you what to do. In conclusion, society needs a uniform set of rules, and you don't get to decide what they are. Do as you're told or face the consequences. You're not in charge of your life. You don't own yourself. You are the property of the rule makers. Your masters have every right to dominate, subjugate, extort, and control you, and you have to set aside your free will, your conscience, and your moral judgment, and do as you are told. There have to be rules, forcibly imposed rules from a centralized authoritarian ruling class, which everyone must obey. Otherwise, otherwise there would be freedom! Um, I have to go now. To have a peaceful society, yes, people have to live by certain standards of behavior. But the rules that really matter don't come from politicians. Most of us know the main rule for getting along in society. Don't initiate any aggressive act against another person. And this rule is valid not because someone legislated it, but simply because it describes how we have to behave if we want to coexist peacefully with other people. Do you personally need some written rule to tell you that it's wrong to steal things and assault people? Do you need to open a law book to know that it's wrong to commit murder? No, the rules that actually matter can be found inside your own head and your own heart. Of course, normal people can disagree about what's right and what's wrong. And not everyone does the right thing all the time. Some people are really malicious, and the rest of us have to defend ourselves from them. But whenever people try to improve things by appointing rule makers, criminals and sociopaths are always first in line for the job. And the result is always a gang of people enriching and empowering themselves at the expense of everyone else. The first thing every rule maker does is declare that he has special rights an exemption from basic morality, and is allowed to do things that no one else may do. While people have always hoped that a centralized authoritarian rule maker would protect them from robbery, assault, and murder, every government in history has turned into a violator of rights, a robber of wealth, too powerful for average individuals to resist. 
And the problem isn't just those in power. It's also those who obey those in power because they've been taught that good people always follow the rules. Every tyrannical empire in history was empowered and funded by law-abiding taxpayers who did as they were told instead of following their own consciences. In reality, the damage done by people who break the government's rules is insignificant compared to the damage done by people who enforce and obey the government's rules. The principle of non-aggression is the only rule we really need in order to have a peaceful society. And every day, every government in the world violates this principle by extorting, threatening, assaulting, caging, sometimes even killing people who have harmed no one. In other words, rule makers have always been the biggest threat to the one rule that really matters. So instead of looking to a powerful master, an external authority and rule maker to make the world what it should be, people need to figure out the rules for themselves, which means ignoring the decrees of government and obeying your own conscience. If you're having trouble imagining how a society could have rules without rulers, or how it could have order without authority, then you need to read The Most Dangerous Superstition, available at Amazon.com and LarkinRose.com.